Here's another problem which asks us to reduce a fraction to lowest terms. What we will try is to first look for the factors for the numerator and then for the denominator and then cancel out common factors. We'll resort to factoring by grouping. I'll group this first two terms here and then the last two terms will comprise the second group and we'll do the same for the first two terms in the denominator and then the last two terms. AC and AD share the common factor A. If A is factored out from the first term, AC will be left with C and with D from the second term. For the third and fourth terms, a common factor is 3B. So if 3B is factored from this term, we'll be left with C. And from this term, we'll be left with D. We'll proceed in the same manner in the denominator. Common factor for these two uh, terms is uh, C. We'll be left with A in the first term and 3B in the second. For the last two terms, a common factor is uh, negative 2D. If negative 2D is factored from here, we'll be left with A. And from here, positive 3B. Now, if you consider this as the sum of these two terms, these two terms share a common factor quantity C plus D. If you factor C plus D from this first term, you'll be left with A. And from the second term, you'll be left with 3B. If you inspect these terms in the denominator, you will notice that A plus 3B is a common factor. We factor out A plus 3B. Leaving us with C in the first term and negative 2D in the second. And you can see here that A plus 3B is common to both the numerator and the denominator. So we can cancel these two terms out. Leaving us with C plus D in the numerator and C minus 2D in the denominator. So this is the equivalent fraction but in lowest terms.